Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Hill Life Series. And as you guys can see, man, we are at your boy Franklin's uh, Starbucks. And I'm actually recording this video back to back. And I asked you guys how much we should get paid every day for this Starbucks or every episode for the Starbucks. So we don't even have an amount. And I'm seeing some damage on my rent on this loaner, like right there. I don't know where that came from. So we'll go ahead and fix that up. But. Yeah, man, so I, there's nothing that I can even add. I don't even know how much we should be paying ourselves for this yet. But your boy had to go in and get, come and grab a coffee real quick before we went ahead and started up with today's episode. Because in today's episode, man, we actually got to go ahead and pick up your boy Franklin's new boats, man. You know what I'm saying? Franklin about to be going on some boating trips and, you know, stuff like that. So we got to pick up your boy's boat, man. Got to pick up your boy's boat. Let me go ahead and me hold on. Actually, let me check on this. Are we, we going? Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. All right. Had to make sure all the, the cars and stuff were still good to go. So, yeah, man, early morning. Early morning work. We got to go ahead and make our way out to Sandy Shores to pick up the boat. And then we got to drive the boat all the way out here to the docks in uh, Los Santos. So, yeah. It's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be pretty fun. We're basically having a little boating day. Nice, good little day on the boat, man. I ain't even gonna lie, this boat did just crash my game just now. Like, it was just one crash, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen anymore. Uh, and I kind of don't think it'll happen anymore, but you never know, man. You never freaking know. So we'll go ahead and see, man. We'll go ahead and see. But hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode. If you do, man, make sure you guys drop a like down below for your boy. Them lights. Them lights are bright as hell. All right, man. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put this guy in the garage. We gotta swap cars. Since we're not going oh shit. Since we're not going back out to Sandy Shores, like we're literally finna drive out there, get the boat, and then come back to the city. Uh we're gonna have to go ahead and drive a car that, you know, we don't have to worry about getting back over here or a rental. And since we ain't got no rental, we're gonna take the charge. Y'all already know, everybody knows that's Franklin's charge, so uh, it always ends up back at Franklin's house because somebody, end somebody ends up bringing it back. I forgot we left the Tahoe like this. Don't think we should do that. Okay, so, yeah. All right, let's go ahead, and um, I want to move the F-350 first. There's nothing in the garage. The Oh, no, 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 no wrong car. We're going to go ahead and put the AMG in the uh, garage with the... Uh, Corvette. I just scrape my bumper or something? What the hell? Alright. I don't know why he didn't get out on the driver's side, but okay. Alright, let's go ahead. Let's get this guy on in there. Open up. And so here's the other loaner car that they went ahead and let us let us hold for a little while. Really might go ahead and take the cor oh damn, I shouldn't have locked it. Might really gonna go ahead and take that Corvette riding around again. I may actually do a cruising episode in this uh AMG. I need to go ahead and get the get this guy back across the street. See look he can get in on this side, he couldn't get out on this side though. What the hell? I think we did a little scrapage. I'm gonna squeeze it like right here. This should be, yeah, this is just fine. Just fine, just fine. Cause I really wanna move, I gotta move the Tahoe so I can get the charger out. Man, we gotta move ASAP, bruh. We need to move ASAP. We got too many damn cars to be sitting in this damn house with this little ass driveway. See, now the driveway is completely blocked. We can't we can't get the loaner car out or the Corvette. Well, unless we move the bins, but yeah. All right, so let's hop on into the Charger. Let's go ahead and make this nice trip. This is going to be a good long little trip. We're going all the way out to Sandy Shores. Way out here, man. You guys can let me know in the comment section down below how much you guys think we should go ahead and pay for this boat. I will go ahead and leave that up to you guys as well. And we'll come up with a, we'll probably do the, we'll probably do a fishing or a boating episode uh, tomorrow to go along with this episode. 
so that you guys can go ahead and see how that boat life is, man. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to kind of get three uh, GTA 5 episodes done today, so I may go ahead and still drop three GTA 5 videos today. I may just drop a bunch of videos today, man. I don't know. Once I, once I figure out what the third video is going to be before I stop my bench recording, because right now I'm actually bench recording. So once I stop bench recording and I figure out what my third episode is going to be, we'll go ahead and get that recorded. I may go ahead and just record the second channel's video as well. I may just go ahead and get all my work done for the day. Right quick, man. We're going to need some gas in this truck. I mean, I said this truck. We're going to need some gas in the charger. So we got 2.6 miles until we get to our destination. We're going to need to go ahead and get some gas or something. Right, here we go. I just noticed we ain't got our speedometer. We're going 20 miles over the limit right now. Whoa! Ooh, that was kind of close. Oh, we're going 100 miles an hour right now. Way over the limit. Oh, we don't get pulled over. Alright. Oh, we just did a lot of speeding in this joint. Charge on the oh wait oh whoa, whoa we're supposed to make that left man I be having man I be wanting to just drive whenever I be getting out the sandy shores I be wanting to just drive bro I need to be paying too much attention to the map whenever I get up the sandy shores all right let's slow it down we're doing 30 miles over the limit again. I make mean, sure I'm not going too fast like that. Ooh. Oh, we got a little tap, a little scrapage. I'm gonna get this candy paint fix on this charger. All right, we got less than a mile remaining until we get to the destination where our boat is actually gonna be. But I am flying. Oh, we're doing 40 miles over the limit right now. I just saw it down. I think there's a cop right there. No, that's not a cop. I ain't even gonna lie. I kind of figured out that that wasn't a cop when we had already slowed down. Right, so here we go. We done made it on over here so you guys can see what our boat looks like. Boy Franklin's new boat boat. I was about to say, man, where the hell my boat at? But look at the boat right there. I thought the game didn't didn't keep my boat. But yeah, there's Franklin's new boat. Yeah, it's a pretty nice boat too, man. It's actually gonna be pretty damn good for fishing and stuff. Let's do fishing right here. What you taking a picture of? He just took a picture. I guess he took a picture of my charge and he ain't never seen it before. Alright, but let's go ahead and get into the new boat, man. This is your boy Franklin's new outside toy. If he can get inside of it. He's acting like I don't want to let him get in it. Hold up. Alright, come on now. Take me up them steps. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we go. I don't know why, but it wouldn't let me. It, it was like the seat wasn't just, re it just wasn't registering, bro. Right, so now that we're on the boat, we got to make this long trip. Hopefully, we can fit through all this because this is what we got to ride through. Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that we can fit through all of that and, you know, get through because we got to come all the way down here and park it at the docks down here. Now, like I did just say, I'm not even 100% sure we're even going to be able to fit through this entire ride or not, but... Cause you know, this is a pretty tall boat and I know we gotta go through like, I think maybe two or three underpasses. So I guess we'll just be fine and we'll just have to wait and find out and see. 
This is a big ass boat though, I ain't even gonna cap. But let me know how much you guys think that we should pay for this boat. I'm gonna show you guys the full interior itself. And a split, oh damn, I thought that bird was un in the water, holy shit. But I'm gonna show you guys the full interior and stuff, like all the inside pieces on this boat. Right about now, actually. Let's go ahead and do that now before I forget. Yeah, you see, it registers this boat as something else, like a skin of your boat, because every time you get out of the driver's seat, Franklin acts like he wants to just dive off the boat. Right, so here's downstairs. See, there's like a, here's another driver's seat, mini fridges. Right, this driver's seat obviously is the driver's seat that we can't, you know, see in. This would have been fire for this to be the actual driver's seat, though. Now imagine being in a like first person view driving the boat. Oh, that's why it's not. Because once you're in the seat, first person view, you wouldn't be able to see nothing. Okay. Makes sense. And then we got a little plank right here. We're still moving down the water a little bit. But yeah, let's go ahead. Let's finish up. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to jump off. Shit, man. Come on, man. You're swimming in your foes, bro. Swimming in your foes, bro. You can't be doing that. Oh, no. Runaway boat. Runaway boat. Runaway boat. Runaway boat. There we go. Woo. All right. Now I got to make sure I don't press that again to jump off. There we go. Now let's finish up. Yeah. That was a Swiss, man. I just wanted to show you guys the damn boat. All right, so here's the first little piece that we got to go through. I'm just hoping that we can fit through and, you know, not have to worry about nothing. Let me see what first person looks like. All right, so here's first person view up top of here. It's like a real smooth ass ride. All right, here's the first underpass that we got to go. And yeah, we got plenty of room. Oh, it's about to get narrow as shit. I got a feeling we're probably not going to be able to make one of these other underpasses coming up. And this is not really practical at all for a damn boat of this size, but hey, we're gonna have some fun. The only reason why we're taking this route is because I wanted to have some fun. And I knew it would have been real fun to go this way rather than, you know, any other normal boat route. But this this definitely is not the way that you would go in real life. Like obviously nobody's gonna take a boat of this size because the turn like this. And boom, your boat's destroyed, so. Ooh. Oh, and then we're beached. Oh, this motherfucker can drive on land? Say what? And there's a mountain lion somewhere. I ain't gonna lie, this is actually pretty damn cool to be driving through here. I'm gonna get us some smaller boats, and we're gonna actually go on some real boat rides like this. Where I'm not trying to do this with a, a narrow, I mean a, a big ass, huge ass boat. We we'll actually take this path with a nice, small, thinner speed boat or a fishing boat that's supposed to go through paths like this. I ain't gonna lie, because this right here, this is narrow as hell. Doing pretty good though, man. Doing pretty good. I actually thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult to go through this path, this passageway than um, what it actually is. But then again, the underpasses are just now coming up, so we'll, we'll find out how that's gonna go once we actually go around these underpasses. So yeah, make sure you guys let me know how much you guys think we should pay for this boat. And we're gonna have to uh, give Franklin like two or three days worth of uh, Starbucks earnings uh, once we actually do. Uh, you know, if I get three GTA 5 videos recorded today, then we're gonna have to do that. Got these little island passes in here. We're going through the Marshall area? That's what it looks like. I ain't gonna lie, man. Whenever these modded boats, we're, we're definitely about to be dabbing with some modded boats. Modded boats, motorcycles, and planes a lot more. And helicopters. This is like the first modded boat that we're gonna be using. 
And I'm really liking it just because it's a lot faster. It handles a lot better than, you know, the regular GTA boats. Oh, we done made it to the edge, too. Now we got nothing but open sea and open water to get to our destination. It's foggy as hell. Yeah, that killer whale right there? Yep, killer whale. Went right over him. But these waves are getting wild out here. But I don't know what it is, man. But I just don't trust. I just don't trust the open sea, man. I, I don't know what it is. I don't trust the open sea, and I don't really trust boats and stuff like that. Just not me, bro. I just can't do it. Oh shit. Whoa, I didn't realize how close we, oh, damn. Well, we could have just really just ran right into them, bro. I didn't even realize that they were right there. They didn't say shit. They just sitting up there just in the boat, just riding. They ain't going to say nothing to you, boy. It was going to run right into me. But all right, man, hopefully you guys are enjoying. See, yeah, we came up out of here. See, I thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult. Oh, this is the this is the path that I was thinking about. I was thinking about this oh, underpass right there. We wouldn't have been able to make it. But this one, it's perfectly fine. Ah, okay. So we still got a good little ways to go before we reach our destination, though. Good little ways. Seeing like this boat has a top speed of 50, 50 knots, or 50, well, basically 50 miles an hour, but it's really 50 knots. It doesn't go no faster than 50. Like, we see, we're going a little bit over 50, but it doesn't maintain it. Make sure I keep my turns up. Another little boat right here. Oh, they fishing right now. They ain't, they ain't not moving. I ain't even gonna lie, man. I even, I ain't even gonna, ooh, I just came up with a new idea. I just came up with a new, a couple of new ideas, actually. Yeah, my boys. Yeah, my boys. I just came up with a couple of new ideas. Your boy Franklin about to have him some more businesses. Might actually deal with a, you know, might actually deal with some more real estate stuff uh, next episode. See if I can find me, find Franklin a house to go ahead and look at. So you can put on the market. It's taking a lot longer to get to our destination. I ain't even gonna lie. I, was, I, I didn't think it was gonna take this long. It's taking a grip, though. All right, man. So there's the shore. I wish it wasn't so foggy. Oh, yeah. We're actually really close to the shore. Really hate this foggy weather, but I decided not to change it. Okay, going around the pier. All right, but yeah, man, like, like I was finna say, man, I don't know about you guys, but I just do not trust like oceans and boats and stuff. For some reason, it's like, I don't know what it is, but I just cannot be, I, I can't be on a boat, bruh. I don't really, I don't really like it, you know what I'm saying? It's just not my cup of tea. The the, the oceans is just too, too, too deeply undiscovered for me, man. There's just too much we don't know about the deep sea and the ocean and stuff for me to want to just go ahead and hop on my boat, hop on the boat. Just like in real life, man, I'm, I won't say I'm against boats, but uh, you just probably wouldn't catch me on one. 
At least not at not at least not in the ocean. I get on the boat like in a lake or something probably. But in the, in the ocean or something, hell no, nah, you got that shit. All right, so now we done made it. We're in uh, the area where we need to be. The boy done brought his boat purchase into town. Yeah, we done brought our boat purchase into town, man. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let me see if I can actually park this guy, which I don't even know. I pro it probably won't even be possible, but we're gonna try it anyway. Hey, we parked the guy though. Actually, it was a lot easier than I thought. A lot easier than I thought. All right, so now we got our boat. Come on, man, drop down. There we go. Ooh, now we got our boat over here. Franklin's a new boat. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. It's a nice ass looking boat though. I ain't gonna cap, man. So let me know in the comment section how much you guys think that Franklin should pay for this guy. And how much should we, you know, get paid for the Starbucks uh, you know, job. I'm um, not job, but the Starbucks uh, you know, stuff as well. Yeah, I guess we can go skydiving. Franklin, my man! Listen, my buddy's got his boat out. I can drop you over it if you've got the balls. Uh, we probably won't drop over the boat, but let's, let's go ahead and go skydive. Why not? It says approach and press Y. It puts us in the passenger seat. Damn, ain't that something? There we go. I had a feeling we was getting in the wrong position. But yeah, I'm not gonna parachute by the boat. I'm gonna see if I can parachute all the way to the house. Oh no, I glitched my game. Oh man, it does some shit, man. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links in the description down below. And I will catch you guys in the next. Oh wait, oh, we didn't glitch it. Oh, yes, we did. I have no control over my game right now. Besides that. Is that my McDonald's? That is my McDonald's. All right. Yeah, that's my McDonald's right there. Hey, look at that, McDonald's. Well, I thought I glitched my game, but you know, actually, it turns out, we're good to go. I was gonna parachute to the house, but Oh, use a hole, hole, my nigga. Landed too far away. That, that's all good. Oh, damn, I just retried it. You see how glitchy my game is, bro? Shit. The game three glitches. But I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Horror live stream, man.